This is 4D part 3 and it's the third tutorial in this series for 4D part 3. In the last tutorial you did this bit where you have now saved the reservation in the reservation table using the append query. But we need a button that is going to save the reservation and we're going to call that button make reservation. Now previously you created a button and linked it to a blank macro. So all we're going to do is we're going to edit this macro. And so if we have a look at this, uh, we've got a number of different actions that this macro can perform. And basically, we want this macro to open that query that we've just created. So if I click on here, but I want it to open query and choose the query name, append reservation, that is literally all there is to it. I'll click on save, close that macro down. We've got so our form open, we've got some data on it. If I click on make reservation, I get my message about append queries. Click on yes. About to append one rows. Yes. Go to our reservation table and have a look. And there we go. Uh, row number 41. And again, I'll just delete that because I don't want that additional row in there. So we've now done that. We've now created that button that's going to save the uh, reservation. 